Thank you very much. And the next speaker is Mr. Helmer. President, the American industrial competitiveness has been transformed by shale gas. Uh, America is now very close to self-sufficiency in energy and incidentally is likely to be the world's largest oil producer by 2020. We were told that fossil fuels would become scarcer and more expensive. What we find is they are becoming more abundant and are likely in time to become cheaper. Yet we in Europe have turned our back on fossil fuels and gone instead for renewables which are hopelessly expensive and unreliable. We are undermining our industrial competitiveness. We are driving energy intensive businesses out of Europe entirely, taking their jobs and their investment with them. We are driving our pensioners into fuel poverty. We are mortgaging our children and bankrupting our grandchildren. Our energy policy is sheer lunacy and must be abandoned. European energy policy is yet another reason why my country would be better off out of the European Union. Thank you. President, the Honourable Gentleman is quite right to point to the fact that there are protests against all kinds of energy development. I am very much aware of that. But I'm sure the Honourable Gentleman would also recognise that scientists are telling us that climate change is having greater effects than they were predicting even five years ago. The more we use fossil fuels, the more we will be adding to the effects of man-made climate change, the more we will see rising sea levels and other effects. What is essential is to cut down on the use of fossil fuels. And while shale gas is cleaner in these terms than coal, it is far less clean than the kind of alternative technologies which already exist and with which, with a little more investment, could be developed just as effectively to supply our energy needs. Well, let's not call them earthquakes because they're not. They're tiny tremors. So let's have none of this green nonsense trying to overblow things and create scare stories. In May this year, a government-appointed panel has said that fracking is safe in the UK and we can move ahead with strict, stricter legislation. In July, the Royal Society and the Royal Academy of Engineers have also said that it will not contaminate water supply. So there's an answer straight to your question. Let's not be caught up by green scare stories because you've driven this debate on man-made climate change for too long with these scare stories and your green agenda. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, on the face of it and listening to this debate, I must say that I think that shale gas is probably the most exciting development in the sphere of energy since the discovery of North Sea oil. It will benefit my own region in particular because we in the northwest of England are sitting on 4.6 trillion cubic feet of shale, which means that we have the largest shale reserves in Europe. This could provide energy for the UK for up to 50 years and create tens of thousands of jobs in the northwest of England. We also know from evidence in the United States that shale gas can reduce energy prices by up to 30%, which would be a welcome break for hard-working people in the UK in the time of a recession. Now, finally, shale gas can also provide us with much-needed energy security because we can become more self-sufficient and not so reliant on the Middle East and Russia for our energy supply. So we have more jobs, cheaper energy prices, and energy security. To me, it seems obvious that shale must form a central part of any of our future energy policies. Thank you.